Hello, this is Miss Lally, and today is Friday, June 26. And I just want to share with you something that's kind of, I guess, kind of new for me. New in that um, I started using this in my garden, Diatomaceous Earth. And this is how I apply it. So I started using this with the butter crunch lettuce because um, the plants were doing really good and then all of a sudden I started seeing the little baby slugs all over them and I said, oh no, no. So I did, you know, I went and read up about diatomaceous earth and I decided I'm gonna go for it. So I went to Lowe's and um, found me a bag and you know, this stuff been doing good by me so far. I also been putting it on my um, squash plants um, just along the, uh, the, the vine part. I come out in the evening cause like right about now it's um, 7.40 in the evening and so um and, and some of the things i came across with using diatomaceous earth is that when it rains you have to reapply so one of the things that i found let me show you so this is how i apply it i don't really put it all over my lettuce i put it around the lettuce Except for some of, I put it on the lettuce leaves because I saw ant activity. And where, and also what made me put it on the leaves also. Let me come back over here because the AC running. I put it on the leaves also because it was to keep the slugs away. And I noticed that the ants activity decreased over there. But also, um... Uh, I started noticing some eating away of the leaves that was different from slug damage and so I ended up finding these green caterpillars they didn't look like the caterpillars that you find on um, your brassicas the green worms or caterpillars you find on your brassica they look different so that's what caused me to put some of the DE on the lettuce leaves and uh, seemed to have taken care of them but um, definitely when it rains, you have to reapply. But, well, we've been having a lot of rain for the month of June. Well, it was noticeably a lot. And uh, a lot of rainy days, cooler. June has been a cool month, unusually cool for us here. And so... Um, I applied the DE around my lettuce leaves at least twice, or it could have been three times, but I think it was de it was definitely twice. And then, you know, <clears throat> just keep my eye on the weather reports. I noticed, <clears throat> I noticed that we were going to be having a lot of rain, so I wasn't applying the DE. But it seemed like the bug uh, pressure wasn't like it was in the beginning I, I haven't been seeing snails over there so um but today i am a, i applied the de on i mean on and around the lettuce and on the cabbage vines because it doesn't look like we're going to be getting any rain or at least no really heavy rain or or sometimes when they say we're going to get rain it's hit or miss and a lot of times we're miss so i don't feel like we're going to get any rain um, so I decided to go ahead and uh, put another application down. So I, I am finding that because of the rain, I'm not putting it down constantly, even though it sometimes it gets washed away. But I, it do seem like when it dries up, it's still around. But uh, I would say that it, it has decreased the bug pressure with the um, uh, lettuce and i put it up i just put it on the vine i've seen um grow family network do that 
and I said, what the heck, you know, uh, put it on the squash. I seen him put it on his, I believe it was zucchini plants, the vine part. And, you know, as far as growing the, the squash, I am going to be growing the squash for as long as the plant stays healthy and can put out squash. But when it starts looking like, um, what is the, if the, if an, another squash vine borer shows up or those dreaded uh, stink bugs show up, squash plants coming out so actually being that we're getting ready to go into July and the squash plant looks as beautiful as as they do um, I am quite surprised I don't know I mean it's just been the June has just been weather wise has been unusual and we had some cold weather I mean very cool weather in June I was cold so um, maybe that and maybe me using this DE just kind of help, you know, help my garden situation for right now. But I just wanted to share with you, this is something new for me. You know, um, I don't really go out and buy uh, products for pest control for my garden because I'm learning to um, depend, to kind of lean more heavily on um, predator pest control, like the wasps and those garden spiders and whatever else frogs whatever else shows up birds whatever comes in and wants to feast on pests in my garden is more than welcome it has i do believe it has helped um my garden situation so uh i think if i can make my garden a suitable spot for growing i mean if I can make it a suitable spot for grow, I mean, for predators to come to take out the, the pests, then that's a win win for me. So, just want to show you how, how I applied it. So, it's in the evening, so the pollinators aren't around. And I did this before, and um, I try to put it right on the vine so that the pollinators I notice in paying attention to how they come to the flowers they go directly to the flowers I don't see the pollinators um, going and walking around on the vine so um, as long as it stays low but uh just wanted to share that with you um, the product that I'm trying out in my garden and see how that worked for me but um i see the main pest control that i got going on here are the wasps they have been working this garden they've been hanging around and i just stand back and let them have at it so hope everyone is having a great day it is friday evening um i am getting ate up i believe my mosquitoes so i guess the mosquitoes are back out so just coming out here with a tank top on and flip flops is um about to come to an end. I'm gonna have to um suit up unfortunately. Good morning. This is Miss Lally and it is Monday, June 29th. And I picked all three of these off of one squash plant on Sunday. I almost forgot about them. I'm trying not to let the squash get too big. This one is kind of getting out of hand, but um, they're nice. All three off of that, that the one lush squash plant. Not much for me to do in the garden today, but to kind of look things over. So here are the four tomato plants. Um, they're doing pretty good. I moved them from over there on the table to over here near the house where the amount of sun they get um, won't be too bad. I mean it's good but the, the afternoon sun um, gets reduced because shade will get cast over them. And so far they look like they're doing good. Only thing, it seems like they've stopped growing. 
that's what it looked like because I see uh, that happening. Focus. If you can see that. So the plant, um, the plant is producing um, new buds, but then they all kind of just shriveled or faded or fizzled. So this is where I got the squash plant from. I mean squash plant. Three squash. I seen them and I, I was trying to remind myself, make sure you pick them on Sunday. And I almost forgot. It wasn't until um, Sunday evening that I, I came out here and got them. The watermelon. This is the Charleston Gray. is really taking off. Which is cool. Let me see. And then this is another Charleston Gray right there. So we've had some rain sometime last week. And uh, I had came out here and weeded. But I didn't go do a good job. Because it's, I mean, I had cleared all this area. I mean, it's still kind of clear. But I didn't get over here. And now that's going haywire. Right here is an okra plant. Right there. And it seems to be doing pretty good. So I'm just leaving it. I probably need to get over there and cut back because this is a, I don't know, a bush or a little tree trying to grow around it that I always have to cut back every year. So I probably should get over there and clear that up some. And I want to come and look at the basil. So I've been, well, I only did it once so far. I came out here and harvested some basil leaves. So I think I might be able to get some more. And I have two more plants behind the corn. Sunflowers are getting kind of tall. These two right here, this is a Autumn Beauty, and that's, I think, I think that one's a Mammoth Sunflower. But, you know, just looking at how some stuff is coming along, um, the tomatoes that I was growing in um, plant pots, they are getting some height on. So here's the Abe Lincoln. You know, I was looking at some of my old videos and I was like, this year I started late. Why? Well, I guess I just had setbacks because of these tomato plants that were sitting in the, that were in the plant pots, they stopped growing. So then I finally put them um, in the ground and they started growing. See, the date's from March 24th. And they stayed in that seedling stage for a very long time. Here's another one. Coming along. And here's one. And there's the other. So I'm supposed to have six. One, two, three, four, five. Where's number? Uh-oh. I knew I lost one. I had seven over here. And I knew I lost one. I must have lost another. Okay. It was supposed to be a tomato right Oh, wow. When did you disappear on me? I had one. It was one, two. And this would have been three here. I knew I lost that one. Four. Hold up. Did I lose more than... It was one. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, one, two, okay, three, four, five, yeah, and, and six. Yeah, okay. So I lost, um, I lost another one. So now I have five tomatoes, tomato plants growing over here. Four beef steak classic and one Abe Lincoln. And the corn, uh, looks like it is taller than me now. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is um, water my garden. 
because I think we could do I could do better with um I mean I need more I need some more water so I think I'm gonna water my garden and here's the other basil plant and there's the other right there and I came along here and I planted some zinnias there's one two three and number four and that sunflower that one volunteer sunflower has held its own and the Marlow tomatoes are looking really gr great over there and sweet potatoes that I'm growing in the ground here are starting to try to start taking over and this is a another watermelon plant the the seed I got from Baker Creek called it the well the way it was labeled was watermelon strawberry so that one is starting to take off I see the leaves the shape of the leaves are a tad different than the leaves on the Charleston have much more of a sharper looking edge and that's how the Charleston leaves look. A little more rounded looking, I guess. And here are the container sweet potatoes. I want to say they're looking good, but I don't know because the leaves are looking like that. So I don't know if that's an issue or not. And... I re after I dug up the potatoes, I replanted some bean seeds. I didn't have to do like two replantings because the birds are coming in here and snipping off the tops of my uh, bean sprouts. So I seeded. They've gotten a little taller, so maybe they, they should do all right, I hope. And I went through and cleared the mulch away from the base of my onions because I came across a video and I saw the lady doing that uh, kind of winging it when it comes to growing onions so I'm learning as I grow and I think my strawberries are done producing and I also planted another sunflower right there See, it's still hanging on. That's good to know. So this is my garden now. Just wanted to give you a quick update. It is Monday morning. Right before, well, right after 6 o'clock. It's 6.05 in the morning. I wanted to come out here because they said it's going to be hot and humid. Oh, wait a minute. I got one more spot. This is the garden over here by the carport in between the carport and the house and the peppers are doing fabulous over here oh, I didn't show you the peppers over there in other part other garden and I I got some bell peppers growing Let's see right there I noticed that one I think that's the only oh wait yeah And these are the beans. They are now putting on flowers. So I'm expecting to be able to start picking beans soon. And I have a volunteer tomato right, right there. And then I have a bunch right here. So I'm just waiting for these to get a little, a little taller. And then I'm going to dig them up and place them somewhere else. And my romaine lettuce. Uh-oh. Uh what is this? That's some weird bug activity right there. That's what it looked like. But they look like they're bolting. That's what they kind of look like. I mean, it's been hot. So, and then of course, the butter crunch. Me and my husband been making salads off of this. So, overall, everything is going good so far. Um, but I know pests and mildew and all of that and the frying of the garden, all that's coming. But right now I'm in, I'm really enjoying, uh, 
my garden. So, hope everyone has a great day. And, oh yeah, I wanted to mention that we're, we're having humid days here. So, and the, and the temperature is supposed to be in the upper 80s. Heat index in the low to mid 90s. So, uh, I know it ain't going to be much I can come out here and do unless I get out here early in the morning, like before 6 o'clock. So I think I'm going to clip some of those basil leaves off and that's it. I'm going to leave the garden alone and let the pollinators, they can come out here and stand the heat, come out here and do what they do. But uh, the watermelon is really going because it's growing here and it's going that way. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.